I'm Philippe Guérin. I'm the director of the Infectious Disease Data Observatory, uh, which is based at, uh, at the University of Oxford. The area of research of uh, IDO, uh, IDO is a data platform which promotes the use and reuse of individual patient data, which has been collected in multiple um, studies around the world. And what we do is that we curate these data, we merge them, we reanalyze them, and we generate new evidence which does not exist otherwise. So one of the projects that we have been working for almost 10 years has been on malnourished children who are affected by malaria. Why did it take so long? It's because malnourished, malnourished kids are usually systematically excluded from studies. And then eventually some of them will be enrolled in some of the trials, but not enough to draw a conclusion of what is happening specifically for them. So it took that much time to get enough of the sample size of this vulnerable population to conclude that uh, kids who are malnourished get a poorer outcome uh, when we are treated with malaria, as opposed to kids who are not malnourished. This is really important because without this kind of uh, effort of putting all this data, this kind of evidence will not be drawn. So one of the big questions for many infectious diseases is that uh, people are infected by one organism, and so that's the disease that we are interested in. But they are also having over comorbidities. Over comorbidities could be over infections, uh, overweight, underweight, um, diabetes, and so on. And so what we are trying to look is that for this specific subgroup of population, how do they react and, and respond to the treatment of the infectious disease of interest that we are looking at? So the work that we are doing is making a difference for patients because we are generating new evidence that uh, you can't extract from reading and looking at a single uh, studies or trial. And so by putting all the data together, we are generating new evidence that policymakers can use to draw conclusions and change the guidelines for the treatment of interest. The line of work that we are doing is really important because we can use historical data and make a lot of sense of that and, and use it and expand there the benefit of this data. If we don't do that, then the, the alternative to, will be to generate new information and new data, which usually takes time, takes a lot of money, will possibly expose also patients to drugs that they don't need to be exposed to. So there is also an ethical dilemma here. So by using this historical data, we maximize the use of research which has been done in the past. It can also help us identifying knowledge gaps and guide what could be the research that should be done in the future.